Hey there everyone, it's Becky with the Dorky Thrifters and here is my spreadsheet and this is the items that I'm about to show you from February 1st through the 14th. So this is going to be the first half of February and um, so I'm just going to break this down for you real quick here. Um, let's see, so I'll, I'm showing you 20 items in this video and these are my better and more interesting sales. The cost of the items total was $95.43 plus $7 sales tax. They sold for $913.46. Um, shipping and handling that I collected was $221.33. My actual shipping and handling cost was $197.45 plus some supplies, which I, I figured was approximately $17.77. My eBay fees were $102.24. My PayPal fees were $38.91. So my profit was $778.07. So my average profit for these 20 items was $38.98. Okay, so I copied this information right here over from my actual spreadsheet. So this is the actual total average profit from one February 1st through 14th. So I actually sold 34 items and my average sale price was $27.44. Well, my average price point, my average profit was $27.44. Okay, but I'm just going to show you these 20 items and um, let's get started. Okay, so my first item to show is this vintage Bible. And it did not have a date in it and I'm not really sure of the date, but based on other Bibles that I've sold in the past and that I was looking at online, I figured it was around the 1950s or earlier. And so um, how I listed it was, let's see, I just put, um, assuming 1950s or earlier. Now it did have a um, reader's aid in the back, which had a copyright of 1924, but that does not necessarily mean that the Bible was published in 1924 even though the reader's aids were that they included there. Okay, so that Bible um, was a leather bound, or bonded leather bound, and it did have a presentation page with a name on it, but no date or anything like that. And it did also have the book tabs on the, the edge over here. You can see that, or you can see the little book tabs. So that's why it was worth a little bit more. And then, of course, it had the color maps and some color illustrations. And the binding was in a really nice condition. So that sold for $35 plus $7.70 shipping. And let's see, it's right here. So I paid $3 for that. Sold for $35 plus shipping. Shipping cost me $6.30. So my overall profit was $31.02. Okay, this is a pair of Click eyeglasses. And this was kind of funny because I had these listed incorrectly. There's another brand called Clink, which is K-L-I-N-K. And just looking at these really quickly, I just kind of assumed they were Clink. And I listed them as Clink. And a YouTube viewer actually emailed me and told me that I had them listed wrong. And so I corrected the, the listing and they sold for $40. So thank you to my YouTube viewer friend who helped me out with that. Okay, let's see. This is a pair of vintage Cephalo Elasta eyeglasses. And these were really pretty. They were kind of a yellow gold with like a white on the side there. Let's see if I have a detail. So the name was Cephalo Elasta. See there? The rhinestones and the glitter. Very pretty. Take a look here. Um, okay, so these I paid two dollars for. They sold for thirty-five dollars plus shipping, so my profit was thirty-one eighty-seven. All right, this is a um, pre-pasted wallpaper with a Cocopelli design on it, and I found these at a thrift store. I believe they were a dollar each. I'll check that here in a minute. But I just wanted to show you these. I had three of them, and let's see. Let's see, I sold all three of them for $44.85. So yeah, they cost me a dollar each. I sold them for $44.85 plus shipping. Um, and my overall profit was $40.77 on those. And the same person bought all three of them. 
So wallpaper borders. Definitely be on the lookout for wallpaper borders. Southwest themes are really good. Okay, so this is a pair of ski goggles. These were Carrera and they were really in nice condition. Didn't have any scuffs or scratches on them. Very clean. The um this foam stuff. I don't know what it's called, but it was in really nice condition, wasn't ripped or anything. And so let's take a look. Those I paid six dollars for, sold them for thirty-five plus shipping, and my profit was twenty-eight dollars and fifty-nine cents. All right, this is a coffee maker. It was a KM five zero five five by Krups, and turns out it was brand new in the box. Oh no, it wasn't. Yeah, it was brand new. Check that out. It was, still had the tape and everything on it. it. Had never been used. The box was open. But the the coffee maker itself was still in the plastic and everything. Um, so it turns out that this was a really rare model. Oh, sorry. This was a really rare model that I couldn't find any listed on eBay anywhere or Amazon or anything. It was a very rare model. So I listed it high at $120, and it sold overnight. So I'm not sure what the deal is with this, if it was just something that they made for a limited time or what, but... It sold really fast. Let's take a look at my spreadsheet here. All right, so I paid $15 for that. I sold it for $119.95 plus shipping, and my overall profit was $99.25. Okay, so this is a pair of Calvin Klein prescription eyeglass frames. These did have the demo lenses in them still. So they were just clear lenses with the Calvin Klein logo on them. You can see that? I sold them as new because they were in flawless condition. It didn't look like they had been adjusted at all or anything, so these obviously, I'm not sure where these came from, but um, they were brand new, and they still had the demo lenses in them, as you can see there. So let's take a look. These I paid $2.67 for. They sold for $45 plus shipping, so my profit was $40.86. Okay, this is a pair of Vogue prescription eyeglasses. There's the name Vogue. I sell Vogue prescription eyeglasses all the time for really good money. So definitely be on the lookout for Vogue. Good brand to look for. Let's take a look at the spreadsheet. Paid $3 for those. They sold for $30. My profit was $25.94. All right, this is a pair of Adrian Vit Vitadini. Um, yeah, the name was kind of being rubbed off. Sylvia, oh, she's in the blinds. She drives me crazy. She gets in the blinds. But anyways, the name was kind of getting rubbed off there, you can see, but you can still make it out. Sold for $30. My profit was $25.94 again. Okay, so this was a Bogner ski suit, a ladies Bogner ski suit. And it was kind of fancy, had like these little metal bees, like the zippers and everything were everywhere. And it was really cool. It was dark blue with a pink stripe down the side. There's the name Bogner. And it was in nice condition, very clean, didn't look like it had been worn very much. So that I paid $10 for, sold for $40 plus shipping. And so my profit was $25.59. Right, this is a pair of zero G eyeglasses. Uh, let's see. I think I sold these once before and they got returned because the person did not like them. So this is the second time selling these eyeglasses. There's the name. Zero G Titanium. And let's take a look. I sold them. They must have been on sale for $59.46. Oh, you know what happened with this was they bought two pairs of eyeglasses and I, one of one of the pairs was only nine dollars I didn't show that on this spreadsheet but I shipped them together but anyways um, I still made fifty three dollars and ninety nine cents on that particular pair of eyeglasses all right this is a Argyle culture eyeglasses so there it is there Argyle culture Aaron found these they were really cool I liked them they had like this fun funky stripe on the front like that they were really nice. Um, they sold for $40. Let's 
Let's see. He paid three dollars for those. They sold for thirty-three ninety-six. So this must have been on sale, and the profit was twenty-nine eighty-three. This is a pair of Laura Ashley black and gold with a really pretty detail on the side. There's a better picture there. Really pretty. Let's see if I can find the name here. Okay, so this one is also kind of rubbed off, but still you can make it out. Laura Ashley. And the model name was Black Crepe on that side. Um, these, let's see. These sold, or I paid $3 for these. They sold for $33.96 on sale, and my profit was $29.83. Alright, this is a pair of Giorgio Armani clip-on shades. And they did say Giorgio Armani right there on the top. You can see that? And they were just the shades. I didn't have the eyeglasses. In fact, um, I was buying a bunch of eyeglasses at a thrift store, and I found these too, and they didn't have a tag on them. But I took them up to the register, and all the eyeglasses were like a dollar or two each. And these did not have a tag on them. And so the cashier just gave them to me. She's like, just take them. <laughs> so I got these for free. And um, let's see. They sold for $25.46 on sale. So my profit was $24.79. No cost. This is a pair of vintage Bourbonese eyeglasses. And let me see if I can find the name on these. These were really neat. I found these, I believe these were in an eBay lot I bought. And, um, I can't really see the name there, but they, um, they got kind of thrown into my death pile because I didn't, they were just, I don't know, I looked at them and I was like, oh, these don't seem like they're worth anything. They just look, I don't know. I don't know why I thought that, but anyways, I had them for probably a year before I actually got around to listing them for some reason. And when I finally did list them, I listed them for $55. <laughs> and um, they sold for $46.71 on sale. So my profit was $43.28. So you just never know with these vintage eyeglasses. They're just, you never know. Okay, here's a pair of Ray-Ban prescription eyeglasses. Let's see. So these, let's see what we see here. These I paid $3 for them, including the case, and they sold for $49.95 plus $10.50 shipping, so I believe they were shipped to Canada. Shipping actually cost me $8.13, so my profit was $46.31 on those. All right, this is a Roomba. I found a Roomba at the thrift store for $20, and it had the little um, little towers, it had the instructions, it had the charger, the little charging dock, it had it all. It worked really good. It was kind of dirty, but we you know, spent some time cleaning it up. It had a lot of hair in it. Um, got it all cleaned up nice and um, played around with it for a little while. It worked really good. Actually, these things, I was surprised because we had just vacuumed the house or the camper. We had just vacuumed, right? And then I, and I cleaned this thing all up and then I put it down and we let it run around for maybe like 10, 15 minutes. And then I went to dump it out and it had picked up a lot of dirt. I couldn't believe how much dirt it had picked up, especially since I had just vacuumed right before using it. So these little things are really good little vacuums. Um, they're kind of annoying if you're home because they're like bopping all roll over the place. But, you know, if you run it while you weren't home, I guess they'd be pretty cool. But anyways, I paid $20 for this guy. Found it at a thrift store for 20 bucks. Sold it for $100 pretty quickly. I think within like just four or five days. Um, it was shipped to Mexico, so they paid $68, and my profit was $73 and, or $76.33, so definitely a good little find there. Alright, this guy was a little fever frog. He sang and um, lit up his um, cheeks. You can kind of see here his cheeks lit up, and... He, his mouth moved, and I think he kind of rocked around a little bit. He's saying, um, you give me fever. 
and I was trying to get this sold before Valentine's Day, but it actually sold on Valentine's Day. So, anyways, I was glad to get rid of it because um, I thought it wasn't gonna sell. But I paid a dollar fifty for it. It w it had the tags too, by the way. The tags were still on it, so it was like new. Um, where did I go? So I paid a dollar fifty for it. It sold for nineteen ninety five plus ten dollars shipping, and my profit was eighteen fifty five. All right, this was a outdoor underground speaker, so and it was vintage. It was from like the eighties, I believe. I found this at the thrift store. I think I paid five dollars for it, or seven maybe. But anyways, it was brand new. Had never been installed. But you can see these funky pictures on the box. <laughs> really cool. And that's how it works. Is you could plant it in your garden. It shows a lady planting it there. And <laughs> I thought it was really cool that it had the box and everything, you know. You can see these people in their their hot tub there enjoying their speaker. <laughs> I thought it was cool. Cracked me up this picture right here on the front of the girl jumping out of the pool. <laughs> ah! Paramount Pictures presents the Omni Speaker. So anyways, let's see. I paid $7.50 for that. It sold for $60 plus shipping, and my overall profit was $42.65. And then last but not least, this is a pair of Bebe prescription eyeglasses. They sold for $35. Um, they had the Bebe logo there, and then also you can see inside here the name. Okay, and those I paid a dollar seventy-five for. They sold for twenty-nine seventy-one on sale, and my profit was twenty-seven dollars and five cents. So sorry about the crying in the background of my video. This cat is a little psycho, wanting attention, acting like a little psycho. Rub my belly, rub my belly. Where, where, where? Wee, wee, wee. What's wrong, Sylvia? Why are you acting so crazy? Huh? All right. That's all my sales I'm going to show you today. So thank you for watching and take care.